Ah, fair dealing versus fair use. We're going to get through this one of these days, you know. It's all interesting it stuff. Is. It's, it's too interesting bad stuff. it's going to be hard to so, break up. And well, no, it doesn't. It really How many people are watching this exactly? Right now, I think we've got three or four right now. Oh, okay. yeah. Three so or they, four. They've fallen off. We've, 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 we got up a lot higher than that. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, well, we, we probably got seven or eight. Um, six, because we've got two computers up here anyway. So time shifting, you said time shifting is legal in Canada. No, we do time shifting in Canada. And because we do, the fact that we do so much of it effectively means that there is a common law exemption for it. Well, okay. the cable vision companies sell a box advertising you. That's to, right. Encouraging you to do That's it. That's right. So. They encourage you to do it. Although, to be sure, the cable vision boxes have digital rights management in them. And in fact, if the, if the publishers really wanted to get snarky about it, they could... Go in and turn they, off they, their... They could go in and turn off their content, and, and, and they can do that kind of thing. They, they do do that kind of thing. It's possible for them to deny you the ability to use their uh, copying. Okay, They don't do it by default, but it's possible. And in fact, there's been a time, uh, and I can't remember where and when it was. I'll have to look it up. But there's a, <coughs> there's a thing called a broadcast bit, that, or a broadcast flag, that the technology exists, but the U.S. government, uh, the Federal Communications Commission down in the U.S. doesn't like this concept, and I'm not sure just exactly what the status of the law is about it anymore, but it's possible for a publisher of a video on TV to, set, to tell the TV stations to set the broadcast flag so that a properly equipped recorder won't record it. And it's been done, it was done by mistake, and it pissed off a royal large number of people. And they're, they're not planning on doing it again. Okay. But the point is that the technology is there. It exists. That's, that's just one aspect of technical protection man, uh, uh, measures and digital rights management. But more than just the time shifting, we don't have the ability to parody. We don't have the ability to take... For instance, uh, a song and rework the words and make a parody out of the song. But like that one fellow down the States used to do all the time? That's right. Well, Weird in the Al. States, he can do it. What's that? Weird? Weird Al. Weird Al Yankovic. Mac Yankovic. That was Yankovic. Weird Al, the guy with the big fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We don't have that facility in Canada. You're not allowed to do it. People do it all the time. People break the law all the time. I know, I speed. The publishers want... Now, but, so, okay, they break, the, they break the law. You're not allowed to make a thumbnail here of a, of, a, of a picture. Down in the States, thumbnails are legal to show, you know, the, the fact that you're referring to something that's a larger work that's actually on somebody else's site. Down in the States, you can make a thumbnail of it. In Canada, you're not supposed to. All right? Little things like that. I don't think I want to know all this. You're spoiling my life. Well, but I'm, I'm working up to the fact that, okay, the, the stuff is illegal. Yeah. And in Canada, it's illegal to do that. Well, now the publishers want to put in place uh, a, a legal regime whereby your ISP rats on you to the publisher and punishes you. Oh, Without, oh, I mean like recourse. Shaw, my ISP shop. Yeah, your Well, ISP I mean, they shop. can come in and control my computer now, right? No, they can't control your computer. Sure, they, they can. They can't control your computer. Yes, they can. Without your consent. No, just a second. When I phone and I got a problem with email or ah, something. okay. Without your can, consent. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I can control your computer if that comes. Well, down I know, but they can. With the, they can yeah, with or without my consent that, if they want to. No, they can't. Well, they they no, the they can't. Says, the law says they can't, but they no. can are physically no, no. capable. Of no, doing they, it. no, not what not. Well, maybe it, if you've screwed up and done something on your computer that allows them to, yes. But no, in general, they can't. They can't come past the the separate firewall that is not a Shaw firewall, unless I poke a hole through, it, or unless you run a program on your computer that that is a, a bi-directional program that says 
come and talk to me. Well, when I had That's my, a different thing. When I had my email problem, the guy loaded, he says, may I go in? And I said, yes. And I didn't do anything extra. He just went in and started. Now, he went into your it. email or he went into his storage on his server? I could, I, see, I could see what he was doing. You could see what he was doing? On my computer, that one sitting right over there. Then you've got remote access turned on and you shouldn't have. Okay, then you can fix that for right. me after one week. That's, oh, that's not something that should be turned on by default. All we'll right. fix that. It must be yeah. on. Well, can I you thought deal they... with tax stuff on that? Ooh. That's bad. Bad, well, bad, 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 bad. He asked my permission, but then he did it. And he didn't ask you to do anything in order to facilitate Absolutely him not. doing it. Absolutely uh, not. That's not the way I'm 99% sure of that. Mm. Unless we did it some other time yeah, with well, another that email that situation. Anyway, all right. So, but the, the the point is that the Digital Millennium Copyright Act is just one aspect of what we're talking about. The publishers want to take the that and extend it so that. Like, this is a U.S. This law. is a U.S. law. The, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act has a thing called notice and takedown. Notice and takedown means that if the, if the, uh, the rights holder, meaning the publisher or the artist, thinks that you have done something, for instance, you've posted something on your website that is a copyright violation, mm -hmm. they can request, the, they can force the ISP, they give the, the notice to the ISP, and the ISP is forced to take down your, your website. Okay? They, they, they're not told to tell you to take it down, although most of them do, but if you don't take it down like Pronto, they'll take it down for you, okay? They're your ISP. They'll turn off your connection. So if you don't take it off your website, they will... They will, they will turn it off, okay? Well, this is much like Carrie Simpson and her lawsuit against Ray, Rafe Mayer. I thought she said that it hadn't been served yet. <laughs> No, 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 no. She's the one that's gone to the Supreme Court of Canada. Oh, the, oh okay, all right, the, that one. Hmm. All right. That's a different thing. Yeah. Uh, but, no, the, here in Canada, well, the, what we have is, what we want is what's called notice and notice. Hmm. 